The Resident Evil Showcase has brought with it not only a nice long look at Resident Evil Village, but also an incredibly tall vampire lady, a brand new immersion, and tons of new juicy information. Let's dive and see what we can find, so let's not beat around the bush, we need to talk about this giant woman using the door frame as a compression. It's clear to see she's dwarf, not only her three companions more on them in a bit, but also series fan favorite tall boy nemesis who clocks in at a mean 7 feet 3 inches, and yes, I had to google the considering the average door frame size is around 6 feet and 6 inches. Again, thank you Google, I reckon that puts our enormous female at least 8 feet tall basically. She's huge, but who's this character? Well, even though she's not named in the trailer, we know now this is Lady Dimitrescu, and during a mysterious phone call, she shares someone else's name, a man called Heisenberg, who at some point has imprisoned our hero Ethan. That Ethan Winters has escaped that fool Heisenberg. Further on, another cutscene with our giant new friend who repeats a similar sentence to Eden but replaces the name Heisenberg with the little brother. You escaped my little brother's idiot games, did you? Coupling a mention of her daughters in the previous scene, and it appears that we've got a full-blown family affair here. And who's the lady Dimitrescu on uh, the phone to, well, that would be Mother Miranda, the parent matriarch of the family, who appears to be a person pulling the strings. A quick rewind to the previous trailer from the PlayStation Showcase in September shows a village residents performing an apparent ritual in the name of, you guessed it, Mother Miranda. Could she be the true power in these parts, or is it the name Sumidus for something someone would seen before for Resident Evil complicated history. Only time will tell and now- Heisenberg, you're goddamn right. We haven't seen anyone attached to the name yet, but we have seen several glimpses of this mysterious man, a croaky voice potential levitator, who's ready to fight with Ethan. Could this be our elusive Heisenberg? It's certainly going to be a boss battle. We know that much now. Let's talk about- our three vampire daughters, although it's never really officially confirmed that they have vampires or at least have vampiric tendency, the combination of the final bite of the showcase, the repeated references to teasing man blood and wanting to cut your dribbler, not to mention the pale skin blood soaked chins and the Dracula like Eastern European Domical kinda leads us to that conclusion and with that tall lady in the first trailer apparently drinking Ethan's blood I'd say we've got it as pretty much all wrapped up but seen towards the end of Shirko is where one of the sisters is pursuing Ethan as also makes it look very like new stalkers to Leo with similar movement and reactions to Marguerite Baker from Resident Evil 7. Also in end now that might be a bit of stretch but they all appear to be wearing necklaces with red jewels that look like control devices from Jill Valentine was wearing in Resident Evil 5. Could we be seeing another family under control by a greater evil like the one Baker's in Resident Evil 7? And one final note about the enemies in these creepy looking dungeon areas were introduced to what appears to be one of the new canon photo enemies of the series. Gone are molded in zombies and in, in our shambling hooded bitey boys. I guess we can assume they're also vampiric of some kind, but they also taste for a medieval weaponry includes swords and battle axes. Notice how Ethan can shoot them out of their hands. Well look closely and you can also pick up icon appears immediately. I've been waiting for you, Mr. Winters. As suspected in the teasers from the trailer, we know how Stranger Welcoming confirmed in the form of a brand new merchant. The first signs I the iconic character in Arism Evil 4 called the Duke. The Duke shop is called the Perium, and not only you can shop till you drop, but you can also sell in weapons to a game to producer Beto Fabian also confirms regularly appear throughout the game in a variety of locations opening the door to endless questions about which item you would like to purchase. A merchant isn't the only thing returning from Resident Evil 4, although I previously confirmed it's impossible not to get Guy Gideon the side of the fan favorite attach case. Real Surge needs is also confirmed that you'll be able once again to spend countless hours of organizing your equipment, be playing arms dealer Tetris in the trailer. We also get a new look at the castle grounds that bears a passing resemblance to Salazar's castle, also from Resident Evil. Now this is the only opinion finger crossed, the whole game takes place in this or similar location, and we don't want to again venture into a secret lab below. This is ancient architecture so we will also actually go into Resident Evil Village. As we theorized in previous live trailer breakdown, it's now confirmed that Ethan is on a mission to rescue the kidnapped daughter. We even see a glimpse of a child Redfield taking your child. This appears to take place immediately after Chris Brulee guns down Mia, like we've seen in the previous trailer. So piecing this together appears Chris has offered up your daughter to a collection of vampires, but this question remains. Why could it have something to do with the child's inherited blood for a previously infected Mia? The tall lady mentions a ceremony, so, so could they be trying to turn the child into one of their own? 
or even combining bloodlines and creating something more powerful or perhaps their sisters would also previously kidnap children who were under some form of control like we theorized earlier with this necklace. It's all pure speculation at this point. It's fun to guess. Bar Speaking of the baby though, the eagle eyed might notice some mission instructions when we're being shown an attack case it simply reads, look for the rose in the castle. Sure shares the chance that this could be another character but our bet it's in the name of Ethan's lost infinite speaking of names. It's also surprising how everyone we've seen in the village knows Ethan's names by reputation, especially considering it was relative nobody before isolated events of Resident Evil 7. Why is Ethan's name on everyone's lips and what to do with the in the store for him doesn't look very nice at all. From glimpse of the handcuff probably about to meet Mr. Winters towards the end of the gameplay, showcase oh and is anyone also creeped out by the goat collect collectibles look a little like Black Phillip from The Witch. That's everything we spotted, but if we missed anything, make sure that to let us know in the comments. Also, make sure that you like and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next video.